There's a new report out today on women and weight. It has important information on a common problem. And medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now to tell us all about it. Hi, Liz. Hey, guys. We've shared details before on restroom relief. This is one treatment that might help. It's called an Amcella chair. And it's one of the Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center in our area in Norwood. But a new study today says losing weight may also help prevent what leads to a need for this chair. A study in obesity reviews found women who were overweight are at higher risk for urinary incontinence compared to those of normal weight. The study does not say why, but for some it may contribute to a weaker pelvic floor, which can lead to what they call a going problem. It just continues to get worse. I think I used to get up two times a night, now it's four times a night. Then once I'm up, I start worrying and stressing about things, then I can't sleep. So if I could just sleep through the night soundly, I think it would change my quality of life totally. These are magnetic impulses that you're hearing. So similar to technology used in an MRI, this is generating energy with magnets, circular, and basically her pelvic floor is in the center of this ring of magnets. And so that magnetic energy causes muscle contractions at a rate much, much faster than what we can do on our own. So 11,200 kegels in a 28 minute period is hard to fathom. And the reason that it is so effective in managing urinary issues, because you're really getting marvelous strengthening of the pelvic floor muscles. Now, unfortunately, this can cost a couple thousand dollars and it's not covered by your medical insurance, but if people want to avoid surgery, a lot of times they'll do it. Keep in mind, if it's a pelvic floor muscle problem, it'll help if it's okay. something else, you know, and that's why go see your doctor before you start going to, for sure. you know, out for fancy treatments. But I do think the weight thing is interesting because we always tend to think of it as sort of a vanity thing, right. you know, and we're kind of learning some of the long-term risks right. or things that can happen that can really just be a quality of life issue. Absolutely. But either way, I talk about it because other people don't, and we want you to know there are things you can do. So. There you go.